actually I thought I was the host, but maybe I'm not the host. Uh, okay, you should be the host now. And um, I went ahead and started the recording as well. Yeah. All right, Craig, can you can you mute yourself? I don't think I can do that. Uh, sure. And then I'll I'll let you know when it's your turn to speak. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, this meeting is an administrative hearing of Salt Lake City Planning Division. My name is Myra Lima, and I will be serving as the administrative hearing officer today, which is July twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. The administrative hearing is authorized by the Salt Lake City Code to hear land use applications that are eligible for administrative approval and require public hearing. There are two items on today's agenda, one conditional use for a monopole and another conditional use for outdoor storage. Each item will start with the presentation by the planning staff. It will be followed by the applicant if they choose to provide additional information. And then I will open the public hearing for anyone wishing to provide input on the proposal. After the public hearing, I, as the hearing officer, will make a decision on the petition. On conditional uses, the scope of my decision is limited to whether the proposal complies with the standards of approval and if there are any detrimental impacts. If those detrimental impacts can be reduced by imposing conditions, I, op I am obligated by the state of Utah and the city ordinance to approve the petition. So we'll go ahead and start with petition PLN PCM. 2022-00398, which is a conditional use request for a monopole exceeding 60 feet in height to be located at, sorry, I don't have the address here, um, at 2042 North Redwood Park Lane. And Megan, please take over. You need to allow me to share. Okay, see if you can do that now. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, this application is a conditional use request to increase the height for an existing standalone monopole. The existing monopole measures a height of approximately 60 feet. The pole will remain in the same location, but the replacement antennas will bring the overall height of the, uh, the uh, monopole to 62 feet. I have provided a picture of the monopole. Um, in the I'm one zoning district, um, it does require conditional use approval um, for the height excess of two feet. Um, here is a vicinity map and a zoning map of the location. Um, as you can see, it's at 2042 North Redwood Park Lane, just off of Redwood Road. Um, there also is a, another monopole next to it that already has an approved conditional use permit. So here's some more site photos. You can see the second pole. There's two poles in this location. I provided a street view of what it looks like from Redford Road and the equipment will be in the same area. Um, so some key considerations for this application was the Northwest Master Plan. It identifies areas along Redford Road for light industrial use. Um, no detrimental impacts, either visually or on other properties, are anticipated as it is already existing. Um, but by utilizing an existing monopole to integrate cellular infrastructure, we're minimizing the need for wall, roof, or ground-mounted antennas. Um, for standards of re review, the application met the requirements listed in the conditional use standards. Um, as said, there's literal or no effect and it met the antenna regulations. Um, the full assessment can be found in attachment D of the staff report.
And so based on the information and findings, um, staff is recommending that the administrative hearing officer approve the proposal um, subject to applying for um, complying with all applicable regulations. And that's the end of my presentation. Thanks, Megan. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any questions for you. Uh, would the applicant like to present any additional information? Craig, you are welcome to unmute yourself. <laughs> sure. Um, I'll, I'll say similar to what I usually say uh, at these type of hearings. Um, and um, that, that this is an existing tower. It's been there for a number of years. Um, at and I think, was the first carrier to, to uh, locate on that tower. And as you all probably know, uh, telecom is, gro is just growing tremendously. Uh, there's a huge demand for the infrastructure that we provide, and and that's exactly what this uh, application is, is is doing, is bringing uh, uh, better service to this uh, particular area. Um, and it's a pretty standard application in terms of the, the deployment of equipment, right? They're, they're changing out some equipment on the ground within the shelter and they're swapping out antennas. In this case, I think they're adding some antennas uh, to beef up the service. Um, uh, a lot of times it'll go a foot or two over the pole uh, because the panel antennas tend to be nine feet and, and quite honestly, they wanna get as much height as they can because it's better for the service. Um, and, um, and I'm happy to answer any questions if anybody has any. Thank you. Um, I don't have any questions. I will move into the public hearing portion of this meeting for this item. I don't see any attendees on our list, so um, I think we're safe to assume that we don't have any public comments. So I will then close the public hearing and make the following decision. Based on the information in the staff report and the information presented, I approve petition PLN PCM 2022-00398 and grant and conditional use for a 62 feet monopole at approximately 2042 North Redwood Park Lane. And that is it for the first item. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And, and we can now move to the second item. Um, which is petition PLN PCM 2021-01011, a conditional use for outdoor storage at approximately 1133 and 1139 South Richard Richards. And we have Aaron Barlow presenting for uh, the planning division. Hi, um, Megan, can you move the red square? to me. I think yeah. you're the one that's supposed to do it. Okay, I will try to do that. You can just grab it and slide it. Yeah, you can just grab it. Perfect. Oh, I did it. I didn't even know I did it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right. And you can see that okay? I sometimes get moving without having the screen shared. So, yeah, we can see it. Cool. So, this is a request from Kiefer Nunley of uh, Metal Hex Welding. Hope I'm saying that right um, for outdoor storage at the property of. It's kind of a yard that straddles 1133 and 1139 South Richard Street. As you can see below, it's this fenced in area um, that has already been used for various forms of storage, vehicle, trailers, and other things. Uh, the request is to store materials related to his welding shop outdoor, outdoors, which includes, uh, you know, trailers, welding machines, welding tables, trucks, forklifts, saws, toolboxes, and whatnot. Um, and staff's recommending approval with the recommended condition that the razor wire is removed. Uh, here's the site map. Um, the area in blue is the, um, the uh, what do we call it? The pad, the storage site that straddles these two uh, properties. Um, the only major concern here is this razor wire fence. 
Um, the existing fence, it was installed at some point between 2007 and 2011. And during that time, the zoning ordinance only allowed razor wire in the CC district um, by special exception. And there was no special exception request, no recorded application or approval. And so as a condition of approval, we, I'm recommending that the razor wire is removed as part of this project. Um, some photos just showing between 2007 and 2011 that the fence was moved forward um, from back up to where it is now. And going over the condition use standards and the detrimental impacts and the zoning standards, um, this pr proposal meets these standards with the exception of the razor wire. So that's the end of my presentation. Happy to answer any questions, Myra. I do have one question. Do you know when that fence was put up? Yeah, I was gonna. The most I know is in between those two years, those two sections of years. Um, I didn't see a building permit for this either. Okay. Do you know if this area was ever counted as uh, required parking for required parking? No, the, there was never, there's no record of um, it being required parking for the uh, proposed area or for the buildings, the adjacent buildings. Their uh, construction predates uh, the 1995 zoning regulations. And um, sorry, I said it was one question, but it's more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know if these other uh, the buildings were being used uh, for other uses or? Yes, um, the applicant will be using the building to the right for basically storing his uh, welding equipment and his office. There will be no welding on site. It's not a permitted use in the CC district for welding shops. Um, but this is a contractor's type office in their yard is a very common use in this especially on Richard Street. I made the mistake of going there at 430 and it was wild. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and then my last question is, I guess I'll ask you, then I'll ask the applicant, but uh, have you talked to the applicant about the condition? You know, I haven't. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to hear about him in a little bit. Yeah. Are you okay? Let's move on into the applicant then. Um, Kiefer, you're, uh, you can unmute yourself if you have any, uh, presentation you'd like to share or any information you'd like to share, go ahead. And then I'll, I'll pose my questions to you after that. Um, I, I don't really have a whole lot to add. Um, I do know that and was put up just before my parents bought the property. Um, just thought I, I don't know. That's useful or not, but I, uh, we own both of the buildings. One of them we rent out to, uh, various people. He's actually moving out it this month and we'll be listing it for, for lease for somebody else, but it's always just been warehouse space for people. Um, same as this one. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot, uh, razor wire, not a big deal to remove. Um, I do it tonight. If Know, but have a couple snips and grinders and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, but I don't, don't really have a whole lot of anything. Okay. Um, yeah. So you already answered the question. So it seemed like you you wouldn't have posted a condition. <laughs> no. Um, Aaron, are is it required to be a solid fence? I can't uh, sacrifice. You know, um, for a permitted, the fence code says that for a, an outdoor storage is a permitted use, a solid fence is required. And, uh, but for a conditional use, it's up to you, up to the, um, if it okay. meets the, the my recommendation, keep it as it is. Okay. I was just wondering if keeping it with the slats is a condition or. 
Oh, I guess keeping the slots there is a condition, um, but yeah, I didn't think hard about this. We can add that as a condition um, to make sure the slats stay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care for anybody looking into my stuff anyways, so. Okay, I, let me just take a look here at the, at the staff report. Um, and while I do that, let me just check if we have any attendees. Okay, no attendees. So I'll, I'm just gonna take a quick look at this and then open the public hearing. Give me a second. Looking for something in particular. Can I give you a? I was just looking at the at the the fence that you were that you oh, were yeah. discussing. Okay. All right. So it is it is it is the requirement like you were mentioning. Um, mm -hmm. To be screened, so I don't think I need to make this a condition, um, and I'm mostly saying that to the applicant. So, it, it, although I'm not gonna expi explicitly say state in my motion that um, this may be a condition, just keep that in mind. Um, so, with that, and I kind of jumped ahead. I'm gonna first open the public hearing. Um, and then seeing that we have no attendings, I'm going to go and close the public hearing and make my motion. Based on the information in the staff report, the information presented, um, I approve petition PLN PCM 2021-01011 for a conditional use for outdoor storage at approximately 1133 and 1139 South Richards with the condition listed in the staff report. So we got a motion and that is it for tonight. Thank you, Aaron. Take Thank you. And then you guys just follow up with your applicants and we should be done today. Okay. Yep. Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thanks, David. Thanks, Mayara. Thank you for